Hey everyone, I'm Jerrica, KI5HTA. I'm the summer intern here at AWRL HQ, and this is just an update on a special project we've been working on over the past year. Behind me, you can see some of the antennas that make up the antenna farm here at HQ. Recently, we replaced an old set of antennas with a brand new tower and a stack of antennas. So let's go up on the roof and take a closer look. This is a small antenna farm used by the AWRL Radio Laboratory. The Radio Lab is a new project here to innovate in the space of a typical amateur radio installation inside of your home. On this brand new tower here, we have a 10 to 20 meter beam, a 6 meter Yagi, and verticals for UHF and VHF. You can also see over here, we have a tower with some satellite antennas on it, and then over in the distance, you can see one of the main tires for W1AW. Welcome to AWRL's new radio laboratory. This is an exciting space because for decades we've thought of amateur radio as being a desktop with some shelves, our radios tucked under the shelving, and then all of our accessories stacked on top of those shelves. It's kind of incredible because we think of amateur radio as a wireless avocation, and yet everyone knows that with all of our radios and antennas, there's a lot of wires. So one of the first things you might notice about the radio lab is there's not a lot of wires. This is because we've built a wiring management system, and that's this black piece that sort of circumnavigates the room here. It's set off the wall by some metal pegs, and the wires just sort of drape through it, and it allows us to manage the station ra rather neatly. You can see each of the operating positions are on rolling wheels. They're just conventional desktop height, but how many times have you been working on your station and needed to get behind your radios? Well, our equipment is able to roll right out, and you can get behind that very easily. The other thing you don't see is a lot of gear on the table, and that's because we've employed the use of two equipment racks where things such as our ham radio transceivers, amplifiers, and some of our other accessories reside. From the racks, we can manage the power, including both 110 and 220 volt power, but also 12 volt power that some of the equipment needs. Most of that gear is hidden away in these racks, and the interface that the amateur radio operator will use is the visual display of some of these radios, including a microphone, a Morse code key, a keyboard, and a mouse. This operating position includes an ICOM IC9100 and a satellite station. This operating position includes a flex radio. Flex is well known for its highly computer controlled interface. This operating position is our radio automation test bench. Many of you might be familiar with AWRL product review. An extension of product reviews in the future will be to take that piece of gear that we're testing, put it on this test bench, and see how it integrates with a station that's already under full automation and control. A lot of the amateur radio gear coming out these days has digital interfaces that you can connect to a computer so that you can control your devices. We're interested to see how a lot of the radios in this industry can play along with each other. So this is a test space where we can create a highly automated station. And a bonus of that is that the station can be operated remotely. So I could be located anywhere and I can remote into the station and be able to operate it. Thanks for visiting the new AWRL Radio Laboratory and watch for much more coming out from the AWRL Radio Lab, both in QSC product review and even on the air.